Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Novus Bear Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be checking out an operating system that fits on a floppy disk. Yes, only 1.4 megabytes. So let's get started. Now again, this operating system has impressed me with the amount of things that they were able to do. It's just not a text-based console, it's a full GUI and you have desktop applications all running off 1.44 megabyte floppy disk. I did make a video of me installing Windows XP back on one of these older computers and luckily for that computer, I actually have a floppy drive. I was able to copy one of the floppy drive images to a floppy disk and use that same computer to boot it in. Now what you also need is something called WinImager. You do have to get a version that supports Windows XP. In my case, it will be version 6.0. I was able to flash the image directly to the disk using the floppy drive. On first boot, reading off the floppy disk, it did take about 45 seconds just to get it to boot. But again, it's running off a of floppy disk. So let's check it out. All right, so here we are. The desktop is completely loaded directly off the floppy drive. So we're only using 1.4 megabytes of storage and we are able to get a desktop like this, which is pretty impressive. Like I got the mouse, the menu, uh, tons of icons. It's just, it just works. So we're gonna go down the list of programs that it has to see what it could provide for such a small storage, but it's really, really cool just that it already boots on this type of machine, which is a uh, one Celeron with uh, 384 megs of RAM. Now, with that being said, you can see the desktop is filled with icons with programs that it comes with, which is really cool. And I'm just going down the list of seeing what they have, but majority of the bottom part is all games. So you can see it's Tetris, Click, Flappy Birds, Sudoku, tons of games. And then we have some applications over here and some applications on the top left as well. So I'm gonna take a look at WebView because I think it has a little small web browser and it doesn't wanna work because I don't have something configured for netconfig. Now I'm going to click on that. Now, even though I could see my network driver, it can't load the network driver. I don't know what's going on with this. And I'm not about to diagnose it just to see what's going on, but it does come with a browser. So you're able to browse stuff if you need to. And if you have a compatible um, network card, you should be able to get it to go. As a uh, RD save, which you could save this into a, a RAM drive, a tiny pad, everything's just one click too. Uh, KFM2, no idea what that is. Oh, it's their file manager. Interesting. So I could copy and paste files. They have another file manager called Elite File Manager. Uh, and then they have a, well, they have multiple versions of a file manager. So you could use any type. Calculator. Okay. Well, I don't know. And they do have their own little app store called App Plus that you could download stuff. But since it's running off the floppy drive, it's not going to work. Uh, I could draw stuff on this called any image. Okay, it's got a lot of default apps that you would find on a base install of any computer. I don't know what net surface, it didn't boot up. I tried to run it and FB to read. So I'm guessing it's a uh, reads files and C edit, which is for coding. Looks similar to Notepad++ for me. Then on the right side, you have um, uh, the debug board, K-Pack, it seems like it's a compression or decompression utility. Diff, oh, I actually use this a lot. Not from this version, but I use uh, Meld, which you can find the difference between folders and files. Uh, flat assembler, okay. Dock pack, no idea what this is. Um, shell, so we know this is, so I can LS and look at the images and stuff. Hex edit, I'm surprised they were able to fit that in here too. And we have system panel, which is the system. So we could actually take a look at stuff. So we have RAM disk. We have a temporary 71 megabyte RAM disk. We could add more if we wanted to. Uh, LAN config, which is that uh, network controller thing you saw earlier. Uh, system setup. So we could actually change some stuff around like font smoothing, height. Interesting. Date and time. We have background. Uh, skin color. So we could actually change that theme of what we're looking at right here. Volume, actually, I don't have anything to test the speaker, so I don't even know if that's gonna work. Panels, we have, this is the panel down on the bottom, so you could actually add more or change the panel. Mouse, auto run, hot angles, hot angles. Oh, cool. Uh, APM for power management, the debug board, net stats. Uh, let's take a look at system monitor. And you can see it's using a lot of RAM, actually about 100 megs of RAM or 90 megs of RAM, but 55 of it was from the RAM disk that we saw earlier, so technically, if it did say that you only need eight megs of RAM to run this, so if it didn't run on RAM, this it probably just take as much as eight megs of RAM. Actually, it took 71 for um, 
storage. So 71 and then uh, whatever that is. Now, uh, as far as the system disk, we only have 36 megabytes free of 1.4 megabytes. So it's actually using most of the floppy drive space. We have processes, so we can see what's running right now. Uh, PCI device. Uh, we could kind of go through this and see what it has, like VGA compatible device. Uh, CPU ID, you could see that this is running uh, Intel Celeron at 1.195 megahertz, also 1.2 basically. And it has uh, all, actually none of these features. The CPU is sold. Hard drive info. Uh, you can check the smart disk and all that stuff. So you could actually use this for a tuning utility to check out what's going on with the computer. And uh, let's see if I could pop up a game or something. So we have Tetris. How do we do this? Oh, okay. So it is up, down, left, right on the keyboard. Okay. Not interested in playing too much. We have Pong. Do I move my mouse? No idea how to move this. Okay. We're getting out of that. And let's go down the menus. So we have 2D demos. We have stuff like here called tubes, eyes. Let's just open one. Oh, okay. It's eyes. Uh, um, oops, I opened Sudoku by accident. Uh, we have 3D demo. So let's look at cube. So 3D cube sample. Okay. So we do have 3D working on this computer. Uh, graphics, we have image viewer, the any image that we played around with, which is just like paint, icon edit, image filtering, uh, palette something. Uh, Pepit. In media, we have uh, Pixie Auto, Toy Piano, F Play Video, a mid amp. In development, we have a few things ASCII, scan code, diff tool, like the stuff we saw over here. Uh, system, we have file managers, a bunch of them. Oh, it's actually even more. Uh, hotkeys, accessibilities, calendars, process manager, terminal, save to RAM disk, shell, virtual disk. Okay, we've seen that. Uh, data processing like Word. So we have a uh, code editor, a tiny pad, ta tablet processor like Excel. Hmm, interesting. In networks, we have network status, devices, clients. So we have like FTP, uh, Telnet, uh, downloader, VNC viewer. Ooh, VNC viewer. You can actually get a VNC viewer working in here. Wow, I'm impressed. If my network card worked, I would probably be able to connect to something. Server, you could be an FTP server, then you have others. Emulator. Wow, no way. DOSBox? Uh, Color Game Boy is ZSNES. Let's see. I tried clicking on one, but I'm guessing because it says it has a little star or asterisk around it, it means it's not installed, but it can run these, I bet. It's just on a floppy, I don't see it being able to fit a ZSNES emulator and knowing that that's probably like a two megabyte uh, emulator. But you have a few other things here. Easy Shot, Shot Reader, uh, RTF Reader, Game Center, which is all the games. Wow, there's more than just that. There's tanks, pong, pong, pipes, mines, and documentation. Honestly, I'm thoroughly impressed with how much they fit into a 1.4 4 megabyte drive. It's impressive. I like the wallpaper. I liked all the applications. It has everything that you really need just to get a functional computer. And again, they fit it on a floppy drive, 1.44 4 megabytes, which is extremely impressive. Now again, it works so well on such an old PC. This is a Celeron 1.2 gigahertz, and it's got only like 256 megs of RAM or 384 megs of RAM. I forgot what I upgraded to, but you can actually install this operating system onto the hard drive and then just run as is and get more apps to work. But again, the most impressive part, 1.4 megabytes floppy drive operating system. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. If you have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And I say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.